Hey. Hello. You. <laughs> this is the breakfast short. Who are you? I'll look up. Tim. No, that's too many syllables. You need to cut down your syllables, Tim. What? How... No, you got one. Your quota of syllables is one. Tim. Thank you. That was depressing. <laughs> I get one clap. Oh, we just finished the Wednesday show, last show of the week on The Breakfast Shift. Uh, we had a lot of fun. We talked about a lot of things. Alistair, start us off. We have one of three things to bring to you today. Well, first one, worms. This is about worms. The root worm specifically, which is a... Th root. Uh, Australians are funny. <laughs> uh, no, this is, this is an American catastrophe. Because corn in America has had this toxin in it since the late 90s that allows it to be um, resistant, I suppose, kill these root worms. Problem is that these root worms have now become resistant to this toxin and can now eat the corn. They've evolved. Yeah, they've evolved. These are mutant worms. These are the X-Men of worms, you may say. Mm -hmm. Little Wolverine just slithering along. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and all they're after is... They're not after equality with humans. No, no, no. They're just after our corn. Damn it. Stay away from my corn, worm. What did what did Queensland do to get rid of um? Well, we brought in toads and stuff to get rid of our corn, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. we did a stupid thing that didn't work. Yeah, and then infected the entire country with cane toads. Well done, people of whoever came up lost, on that. Yeah, settlers. Yeah, whoever wanted to protect sugarcane, Bundaberg. It's Bundaberg's fault. Damn it. I'm sorry, Bundaberg. They if there's any fans listening from Bundaberg, I don't mean to blame you. I enjoy that drink that you make. You know the one. The lemon lime bitters. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's the one. The ginger beer. <laughs> is that it? That's the one. Yeah. I think they do a ginger beer. It is delicious. Yeah, Can I say I was good? Yeah. It is delicious. Yeah, the diet one actually is, I'd say, better. Ugh. No, seriously. Diet ginger beer is better than regular ginger beer. I'll say it. All right. Okay. Sorry. So, all right. So these worms are now eating the plants that were made to kill them. Yeah. So that's this, effectively this poison it. is useless. Yeah, there's toxins. So what do you do now? Do you make... A new poison to try to kill these worms? Well, what they're doing instead is they're getting insecticides, which is, of course, the the worst option because that means a lot more maintenance. You have to wash the crop before you can sell it as opposed to just it having this little tiny gene cropped into it. Yeah, it's the whole reason of why you genetically modify it yeah. so that you don't need to spread poison all over the food and be yeah. like, I hope we clean the poison off before we sold it to people to eat. Oh, yeah. That, said the intern. <laughs> Oh, but it is pretty crazy to see, just like this kind of evolution thing happen so yeah. fast, and just see these bugs, like, we try to, nature finds a way. Oh yeah, always. Nature these finds a way. worms. Have you ever played worms? They always come back with nukes. All they need is a bazooka, and you're done. Yeah. That's it. They, they don't need the rope, they don't need the holy, holy bomb, they don't need any of that stuff, they just need a bazooka, and you're finished. Finished. <laughs> um, moving on to some other news. On to, on to Australian news, actually. In Melbourne, the Melbourne City Council has passed a new law saying that owners must keep their cats confined to their properties 24 hours a day. So you're not allowed to let, let cats out and they can't frolic, they can't run around, they can't do any of that stuff. You have to keep them indoors. Now, originally, 200 people agreed with this policy on an online poll. But after the law was passed, people started saying that they hadn't heard enough about it. They yeah. didn't know about it, particularly cat owners. They started a new petition, an online petition on change.org, and it currently has 900 signatures against um, against this. The law. Yeah. Well, as a cat owner, mm -hmm. this is for you, Scoop, I understand why they would introduce a law like this, because it's in the interest of protecting the cats, which can get out, which can cause road accidents, can poop in other people's yards or catch feline aids when they get into fights because everyone's heard a cat mm -hmm. you know have mm -hmm. you heard cats fight at two in the morning no it, it sounds ridiculous they go absolutely <coughs> and it goes on for like 20 30 minutes because cats are fighters and like out in the open they'd be very territorial especially mm -hmm. if we put two boys together or two girls together mm. um it's like it's like lion king yeah it really much. is the final scene of the lion every, king every cat is either scar or mufasa that's it Mufasa. Mufasa. What song is that? <laughs> I don't know. Something, that we, something that we play on Switch, 1197 Brisbane's Youth Alternative. How do we always find a way to advertise ourselves? Because we're good promoters. <laughs> ourselves. Um, Shameless. Yeah, so a lot of people are now against this law. Um, 
you, as a cat owner, you said that you can see the benefits of it. I see the benefits. My cat, personally, Scoop, he's an indoor cat, so he doesn't, like, leave the property anyway. And I think this, I, this law is there so people don't let their cats get out unsupervised. There are lots of people that will just let their cats out in the day. Yeah. The cats go on cat adventures, yeah. magical handbags cats. and such. I don't know what cats do. Um, and then they come back, and then they just lock them in the house at night, so they stay safe. I'm pretty sure we won't be seeing another Homeward Bound movie, though. Oh, man, that movie is so sad! <laughs> that movie is so sad! Sorry to bring up old memories. Let, let, let's change the topic. Stupid dog. Don't eat the porcupine! What do you think's gonna happen if you try to eat the porcupine? Boom. <sighs> Dumbass. Don't porcupines, if you, like, lick them, they Oh, no, I'm thinking of a kid. No, it's a kid. Same thing. Yeah, their, their spikes go soft. Their spikes go off them. Oh, the Pokemon's have that effect. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Mm. Animal news. Yes. Um, more, uh, animal. more animal news, yeah. actually. This one's about poultry, because today is our poultry day, but that's not the story. Happy this... Chicken Day! Woo! Now, this one comes out of Manchester. A man tried to sneak out of the convenience store, I suppose, a corner store, with poultry down his pants. Now, the, super- the supermarket uh, attendees caught the man, and then hand him over to police because they were like, hey, this dude's stealing stuff. Mm-hmm. We Caught should him. say that this is probably a frozen chicken or something. Yeah. It's not very likely that this man was putting live chickens or turkeys or pheasants down his pants. Geese, even. What is a pheasant? Bird. Is it is it another name for poultry? Like, is it just the could family? It li- yeah, it could be. Mm. No, but it was it was <laughs> grocery it was grocery store chicken that he had down his pants. It's like from chicken, like. I was talking about, because if this is frozen chicken, yeah. the idea that he would stick that down his pants, that's dangerous for many reasons. Well, one is, there's a chance of frostbite, because it's very cold, it's like an icicle that you stick it down your pants. Makes- Second is, because it's cold, it could stick to your skin, and depending Ooh, the ice. kind of the kind of thing that he had down his pants to hold it there, it may end up tearing off skin. You don't want that happening. Mm. Look, I, I brought this back to maybe he loved chicken that much. That he would steal it. But you shouldn't steal it. No, you shouldn't steal it. Steal shouldn't it. steal it. He... I understand the love of chicken. I, oh. I myself, I do appreciate oh, the old God. drumstick now and again. Oh, I can't do, no, the bone, I can't do bone, like ribs, I don't get ribs. It's like 70% Chicken's bone? different. Chicken's not ribs. I don't get, I don't get drumstick. I don't like that meat. I like breast, and that's about it. <laughs> Sound bite for you there. <laughs> Alistair, I like breasts. <laughs> Breast Singular He only likes one The mono boob He only <laughs> He only likes that Amazon. one boob chick <laughs> God damn that movie Oh that's why you've seen Every episode of Futurama Yeah I thought I was talking about um, Kung Pao into the fist Oh wait yeah, like, no, She's no. got one eye in Futurama What am I talking about? That's Layla yeah. I don't know what's happening anymore That's the end of the breakfast short Thanks for watching We'll be back next week On Monday morning It'll be Alistair Myself Mm -hmm. And Steph Will be on Switch 1197 For the breakfast shift From 6am To 9am That's 1197am If you're in Brisbane If you're not Somewhere else Or you just want to hear Some high quality radio With good quality sounds And things Mm -hmm. The internet will help you Go to www.switch1197.com Click on the, the tab up the top for listen live, and you can hear us streaming live. Tim, do you know what that sound bite tasted like? What? Chicken. Yeah, well, everything does taste like chicken. Uh, don't forget to like us down there, and also subscribe up there. Are you making me put in extra stuff? No, there's a, there's a subscribe Actually, button up here. I think it's over here. No, no, it's no, up, no, I guarantee no. it's up here. Okay, it's going to be up here. I say it's up here. Tim says it's up there. Yeah, click on that to subscribe. Or click up on this one to subscribe. Are we actually doing this thing now? No. Okay. Alright, we're out of here. Love you. Hey, right. Chicken.